This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. Rumor has it. On the Breakfast Club. So listen up. Nah, 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 nah. So Wendy Williams was talking about Meghan Markle. Now Meghan Markle did a very emotional interview where she talks about this. It's um, hard. You know, I don't think anybody could understand that. But I, I, in all fairness, I, I had no idea when I first met my now husband. My friends were really happy because I was so happy. But my British friend said to me, I'm sure he's great, but you shouldn't do it because the British tabloids will destroy your life. And I very naively, I'm American. We don't have that there. So she's been having a tough time getting used to the paparazzi, to the tabloids and all of that. And I can imagine that could be very emotionally draining. Well, Wendy Williams says that she doesn't feel bad for her and nobody feels sorry for her. Listen. You knew exactly what you were doing. And I applaud her plotation on the royal situation. (laughs) But please, don't try to garner sympathy from us. You knew what you were doing. First of all, you know, with William and Kate, They are grooming because he's gonna be the king and she's gonna be the queen and the kids are gonna be the royals like that. Harry and Meghan have nothing to lose by moving to America. I kind of feel it though. Like, uh, no, actually I do feel her because people act like this is what she signed up for. No, she just grew to love somebody. You know what I'm saying? It's just that the person she grew to love is a very notable figure. So she didn't ask for all of this. She didn't ask for her life to be, you know, intruded upon the way it is. Well, I also think that sometimes you might say, okay, you know, it's going to be a lot of people hollering at you. You're going to be in the tabloids and you don't realize what it's like until it happens. Absolutely. You can't prepare for that ever. All right. Now, a federal judge is not dismissing that lawsuit filed by the city of Chicago against Jesse Smollett. So it looks like now this is still going on. They want to get more than $130,000 from Jesse Smollett to cover the costs that they had to pay to investigate his report of a hate crime attack back in January. They had to cover police overtime during that investigation. Now, he wanted them to throw out that lawsuit, but they have not done that. So he's still on the hook. So it looks like they are still going to proceed with trying to make that lawsuit happen. It's crazy how how I even forgot that happened. Remember how big that story was earlier this year? I'm telling you, trouble don't last always. All right, and Trick Daddy has reportedly filed for bankruptcy. According to reports, he has zero dollars in his checking account, according to The Blast. But he does have his assets. He has his home, and he has stock in his music publishing company. He has clothes. He says that he only earned $50,000 in income for 2019 and 75000 in 2018, but bought a lot more things. I don't know. I feel like he's made more money than that, but I'm not going to, you know, what can I say? I mean, it's he's been a long, it's doing been a, what he's trying to do financially. Yeah, he about to start his radio show, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. him and Trina have their radio show coming. So there you have it. All right, now Steph Curry has responded to what Michael Jordan had to say about him being a Hall of Famer. Here is what Michael Jordan said. So Steph Curry shouldn't be offended when he watches. Uh, I hope not. Uh, he's still a great player. Not a Hall of Famer yet, though. <laughs> he's not. Well, Steph Curry responded. He did an exclusive interview for Soul Collector. He said, I know I have more to prove to myself. When you hear a guy like that who's the greatest of all time, it's kind of funny. Since we've been on the stage, we've heard a lot of retired guys chiming in on this generation of basketball player and evaluating talent and saying their generation was better and all that. It's a great conversation for the fans to get in on. I know I'm in good shape for that, but I still have a lot to prove to myself. I mean, okay, I I looked at this two ways. Technically, Michael Jordan is right. Steph Curry is not a Hall of Famer yet because he's literally not in the Hall of Fame. He will be one day uh, once he's retired. But I simply think Michael Jordan didn't want to get fined. I think that, you know, he could, like, he's an owner of a team, so if he says too many great things about a player, they can fine him and they they, they fine him for tampering. I don't know why they call that tampering. But I think he just didn't want to get fined, so he just threw something out there like, but he's not a Hall of Famer. Well, Steph Curry agreed to a certain extent. He said he's not there yet. No, Steph, so, if Steph Curry retired tomorrow, he would be. If he retired today, he'd be in the Hall of Fame. But he's just technically not in yet. But I'm th- I really think Michael Jordan just didn't want to get fined for tampering. I think that's why he said that. All right, now Nicki Minaj and Kenneth Petty. You know they got married, and it was a no frills wedding. The reason why they got married, according to TMZ and people with direct knowledge, is because of course they had time on uh, not on their side. They only had three months since they got their license, so they did go ahead and get married. And they are planning to have a huge wedding later on for. Uh, members of the family and friends to be able to attend. All right. And then I saw, we talked about uh, your boy getting fired from TMZ. Van Lathan. Van Lathan. So what they are saying now is that he put his hands around uh, his former co-worker's neck, Michael Babcock, the co-host on uh, TMZ Live. 
So that video footage is actually making the rounds because it happened during TMZ Live. Yeah, I saw the video, but I mean, it looks like they were like playing. Like, you know, it looks like he was just, you know, giving him a stern talking to. Like, it didn't look like he wasn't choking him. He came up behind him, put his hands on his shoulders, whispered something in his ear and walked off. Yeah, they said he was upset during that segment. Yeah, he was upset because the white man was yelling at him. Listen, I don't like no white man. I don't like no man yelling at me, but I damn sure ain't gonna let no white man yell at me. So I'm not mad at him for, for, for telling that man, like, look, watch your tone when it comes to, comes to talking to me. So you and you know TMZ, they're actually friends. Do you think that TMZ was wrong for firing him? I definitely think TMZ was wrong for firing him. Well, according to sources, they said that he wouldn't have been fired if he hadn't uh, put his hands on him at all physically. Did you see the video? Been fine. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, he just came, he was like, he came up behind him. He had his hands on his shoulders. He was talking to him. He walked up. He even patted him on the, on the side as he walked away. And, you know, they're actually friends, like mm-hmm. in real life. Right. So it's it's just weird. It's like a misunderstanding between friends at work caused uh caused Van to get fired. All right, and congratulations to Cardi B. I just want to end with that, man. She just uh got a role in Fast and Furious Nine, so that's amazing. Huge deal. They just announced that yesterday. So yes, congratulations to Cardi B. She's making moves. Body. Did you see, did you see Hustlers? No, not yet. Damn. I'm so mad at myself for not seeing that yet. But yes, uh, Vin Diesel actually posted a picture with her last day in the UK. That's going to be in theaters on May 22nd of 2020. All right, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your Rumor Report. All right, I want to say peace to Revolt TV and uh, <laughs> the People's Choice Mix is up next. Uh, if I sound like I'm not excited, because I'm not, because the people don't even get to choose what songs are played, and we know this already. But hey, man, the, 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 the illusion of radio... Will never cease to amaze me. All right, DJ Envy's up next with the People's Choice Mix uh, and maybe a song that you requested.